I think what makes a great barrel racer is a great horse. Uh, I would not be where I'm at in my career without great horses. I've made it to the finals on five different horses. Those horses that have got me gold buckles, they all had a lot of heart. They knew their job, they loved it, and they gave me 110% every time. I have, uh, people ask me all the time what my favorite horse is that I've competed on, and it's like picking your favorite kid. You just don't do it. They all had their unique uh, qualities that made them great. Stingray may be just a little bit more special because my mom and dad raised her. I got to see her be born and kind of go through all the stages with her to get her to that point. And, but I, I love all of them. <laughs> I still get that adrenaline rush. Uh, this is going to be my 17th time there and it, it's an amazing feeling and you know you, you focus on what you're supposed to do and you're not supposed to worry about how many people are watching but it, it, you can definitely tell and hear the people <laughs> in Las Vegas. There was a lot of pressure in the last run in 2013 and I, you know, I try not to get caught up in what's happening, and but I knew there was a lot on on the line. I'd placed in all nine go rounds so far. There was a truck, a world championship, a great year. I had a great year, and I wanted to finish strong in an average. And I uh, that was, last year was my third average win in Las Vegas. A good run in the Thomas Mack is 13 second run and I heard him say 14 seconds and I didn't know what anybody else had been doing and I thought man you know I knew I got around the barrels so I won the average and I won a world championship. I knew that. I didn't know that I'd won the truck until they took me in the arena and were giving me my average buckle and I saw them drive the truck in and I'd won trucks before but to do it in Las Vegas in 10 days that's an awesome award and I mean Stingray did it. I'd never lost anybody close to me and, and Mike was killed about three weeks after 9-11 and you know I, I remember watching that all go down and, and those wives that lost their husbands and just not you know feeling sorry for them and you know hoping that I'd never have to go through that again and, or go through that and then you know three weeks later I'm 26 years old and I lose my husband and uh, you know I've I think that my strong family background and, and you know the beliefs that I've been taught helped me, I know, helped me get through there, my friends and family, and knowing that I don't know why it happens and I don't know why things happen, but everything happens for a reason and you can let it get to you and you can crawl in a hole and never come out or you can you know move on. Now it did take me a while to move on. I didn't go to a rodeo for a year, um, but you know I decided I, I, you know, maybe me being able to go on and move forward can help somebody that's going through something in their life know that, you know, they're not the only ones that are going through that and, and life can go on. My parents definitely, I feel, are, you know, very influential in my, my career, gave me the opportunity to do something that, you know, I dreamed about and they believed in me and, and still do and, well, I hope that I am giving back to the Western industry. I've started a youth bar race in California and I would like to kind of branch out and do that more across the United States and you know give back because the Western industry has been amazing to me and so I don't know that I'm there yet. I feel like I still have some stuff to accomplish you know personal wise to, to give back and um, you know help the future of our, uh, our sport.